Hey, what's going on everyone? If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Tay. And I'm Becca. And today we're going to talk about the best and the easiest way to earn passive income. Arguably the easiest way. It's so easy, you can do this from your couch while you're Netflixing, chilling, or doing whatever your fancy is. That's right. <laughs> yeah, so these aren't just any dividend stocks. We actually have a few flavors for you guys. So, REIT dividend stocks, monthly dividend stocks, so monthly payouts, and then also high yield dividend stocks for you uh, risky peeps out there. Yes, we've got lots of flavors for you today, so if you're interested in earning passive income, stay tuned because we got them goods. Word, we do. So we're going to jump right into it. First stop we have for you guys is Armor Residential REITs. The price is currently at $8.72, so you know, that's relatively cheap. Really good price actually, and uh, the ticker symbol is ARR. ARR is essentially a company that operates as a real estate investment trust, period. <laughs> it has a yield of about 13.76%, which is extremely high. And there, high. <laughs> there, there's much higher uh, yields when it comes to dividend stocks. I've seen, I think last night I was looking at, I seen 700%, something crazy, which is in, insane. It, it's insane and it's not sustainable. Nevertheless, this is a relatively cheap stock. So that's one reason to buy it. And then two, it has a high yield. Three, monthly payout. Four, it's a re. And, uh, oh yeah, did I say it has a monthly payout? Which, yes. <laughs> all good things. So it can pay your bills on a monthly basis. I should mention that everyone should do their research yes. when it comes to, you know, the stocks that we're mentioning and just in general, you know, with any stock that you're, you're looking into. Uh, so looking at the, the history, is this company in financial distress? All of the above. You wanna look into these things if you're picking individual stocks. Do your research. Do your research. And I should also mention that we're not financial advisors and uh, we never will be. Yeah, we never will be. Yeah. <laughs> Our second stock we have for today is Realty Income. The Ooh. ticker symbol is O. Not sure where they got the O from, but that's <laughs> the ticker symbol. And O is another REIT. And it essentially focuses on single tenant commercial properties. Mm. It's got a yield of 4.27%, and it's also another monthly dividend, so it's paying you monthly. So this is a really good buy that a lot of people will mention. It's a good one to have. So why should you buy Realty Income? So one reason is it's a relatively safe dividend stock to buy. Absolutely. It's not a super high <laughs> yield, but it is considered an aristocrat dividend stock. And Ooh. so that means that it's consistently increasing its dividend payout over the past 20 plus years. Wow. And so that makes it a really attractive buy to have to add to your portfolio. So the next stock that we have for you guys, and the third stock is Federal Realty Investment Trust. So eh, somewhat on the pricey side, it's uh, about $118.08. This company focuses on developing, owning, and operating retail and mixed use properties. So they have a, a diverse uh, portfolio. And the yield is 3.61%. Not a monthly payout, but it is quarterly. And, uh, you know, I think this is a good pick. Like the yield isn't too high, it's low to moderate, and it's considered somewhat of a safe stock. So, why, why should you buy this one? Well, <laughs> it's been increasing its dividend payout for the past 54 years. Yeah, 54 <laughs> years, that's a super long time. That's more years than Dante and I combined. <laughs> <laughs> Try to guess our ages. Yes, yeah. that's a good math problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 54 years, and if I'm not mistaken, I think that's a Kang dividend stock, right? It is, yes. Yeah. The fourth stock we have for you today is Main Street Capital Corps, ticker symbol M-A-I-N, Main. And essentially, Main is a 
an investment management firm. It's got a yield of 5.8%. So that is... It's not bad. Yeah, it's on the higher side, I would say. Um, it's not super high, but it's Not super definitely... high like our first one, but it huh. still is relatively high there. I would say there's, yep. Yep, and it also has a monthly dividend. So again, it's paying you monthly. So that is a plus of this stock. You can pay your bills. Absolutely. <laughs> so why should you buy Maine? One good reason is that it's consistently increased its dividend payout since 2007. So wow. it's a relatively <laughs> stable stock to consider in your dividend portfolio. Yeah, absolutely. So the last stock we have for you guys is American States Water Company, ticker symbol AWR. So this company essentially, you know, deals with water and electricity uh, and utilities, right? Stuff we all use on a daily basis. Stuff we use on a daily basis. And, you know, I would consider this a relatively safe stock. Uh, why? Because of the fact that, you know, they held up pretty well during the pandemic stock is definitely looking good and the yield is on the low side it's about 1.63 if i'm not mistaken yep 1.63 and it has a quarterly dividend payout which is nice uh, it's not going to always be a monthly but lastly why why would we consider in buying this stock with such a low yield well it has you know some growth over the past 66 years, it has consecutively increased their dividend payout. And this is considered a, a Kang dividend stock, which- Very stable. Yeah, if you're trying to get into dividend stocks, like you definitely want to look into the Kings, the aristocrats, and we're going to talk about that in another video. Well, that wraps up our top five dividend stocks we have for you today. We'd love to hear in the comment what flavor of dividend stocks you're invested in. Are you invested in the high yields, the REITs, or are you just generally interested in stocks? Yeah, yeah, drop those comments below. Yes, we'd love <laughs> to hear it. And like we've said in the past, dividend investing is one of our strategies we plan to live off of once we retire. And we love this strategy because it's relatively stable. So whether the market is high or the market is low, yeah. we're still going to be getting those dividend payouts. Absolutely. And, you know, an interesting uh, example that I heard was thinking back to the 2008 recession. A lot of people that had planned on retiring during that year with growth stocks, for example, um, they may not have been able to retire or they sold at a loss. Um, with dividend stocks, you, <laughs> you'll be good during a situation like that. Remember, Especially if it's a stable company. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, if it's a stable company, if it's a good dividend stock, then you're still going to be getting paid whether the market is up, down, in a recession, whatever the case may be. So that's an important note. Yes, absolutely. So that's all we have for you today. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to come back every Monday and sometimes Friday. Stay safe and be blessed. Peace. Peace.